So till now we have completed the uh, footprint assignment. Um, one more thing we can do is we can generate a bomb or the build up material for all of the component of the symbols used in our schematic. So it is easier for us to order the component. It will download the Excel sheet for us. So uh, if you go on the top and uh, if you notice uh, generate a bill of material for the current schematic, this icon, you just click on it and you need to just click on this generate button okay at the uh, uh, it will show a message success and dot csv file is uh, generated at this particular location so you can go to that location and you will observe that uh, this uh, excel sheet is downloaded we okay, just close this so the next part is like uh, we will now go to the pcb layout for that um, uh, you need to click on this open PCB in board editor. Okay, so this is how you can navigate to the uh, PCB editor. Uh, it is similar interface to the schematic, but there are a lot of different options. Uh, let's try to understand that. Uh, this is the sheet. And if you notice this uh, is similar to the uh, one which we have in schematic okay uh, and the top we have options like file in that we have save rescue and this is a basic option but um the important thing is this import net list spectra session and export spectra dns and all this option also we have this fabrication output which is important and we will um, do it in um, upcoming session and this is the board setup Next is this page setting and this is to print the uh, PCB and we have this. So uh, in edit we have a um, lot of options like edit tracks and via properties, hit text and graphic properties. Then we can even change the footprint, swap between layers uh, and fill all zones um, like copper core. Uh, this way we can do. Okay. In view, we have a footprint library browser, a 3D viewer, zoom in, zoom out, and fit, zoom to fit, and these are options. And if you have the option of grid, then we need a, a dimension in uh, millimeters, inches. Then the uh, drawing mode, contrast mode, and in place, uh, we use, we will use the uh, of this like adding footprint you can even add, change or add footprint so one thing i can show you in add footprint is the uh, mounting hole so you can uh, see how you can use this mounting holes for example if you have created a board and you need the mounting holes so just click on the, uh, search for mounting holes and you can get the dimension of the hole 2.2 2.3 and so on so this is an option for the mounting holes that it add via. You can just click on OK, and wherever the, uh, you are creating the uh, uh, PCB, you can use these mounting holes. Okay, what different option we have? We have option to add vias, and if you notice, we have all uh, we have the uh, shortcut keys or the hotkeys: Control plus Shift plus V, and all of this. You can even add text, graphics, etc. In routing, we have this um, differential pair routing and single track routing. In spec, we have uh, different tools like measure tools, DRC, which is important, markers, etc. And in tools, we have the update PCB from schematic. Uh, if you made some changes or if you need to update the um, PCB from the schematic, so you can do this with the help of this. And this is footprint editor. You can even edit the footprint. Uh, so for example, if you need a customized footprint or if there is a component where the footprint is not available, so you can do that with the help of this footprint editor. And this is a basic option. These toolbars represent the uh, all of the options which we saw. Uh, in this session 
this is the layer on which we are working uh, on the right if you see in the appearance this is the layer second option is objects and third is nets uh, in layer we have this uh, arrow if you see uh, on which layer which we are present this arrow is uh, you can select the layer according to this uh, um, appearance in the layer okay so if you select for example if you select this uh, front dot copper then it will you will be at the front dot copper layer and you will be working on that so you can easily change the layer according to this for example in a uh, uh, board layout for, uh, you need to do a board layout so you need to go to this edge dot cuts and just draw this and if you go in the 3d viewer so if you notice this uh, which we made the box of the rectangle of the uh, which uh, represent the board is with the help of this layer Yeah, so uh, at the bottom uh, also if you see uh, we have our pads, pads used, wires used, track segment, nets, unrouted tracks, all of the information will be present at this bottom. Uh, one more thing uh, in tracks, for example if you are routing the tracks and if you want to change the uh, thickness of the track, so you can also uh, customize your track size. So in this you need to select uh, for example I need 1 mm track width and you can just click on this ok and you have the option of 1 mm track so if you can see the track width is now increased 1 mm okay, so this way you can work on the uh, PCB layout part now, um, I hope you have uh, yeah, got a basic idea of this PCB editor. In the next session of the video, we will work on the uh, PCB editor part and component placement. See you in next lecture.